Okay, I wasn't going to do this video, but as I was uploading my previous one on Max Egan that's got the thumbnail tax evasion on it, I realised that, uh, well, now my other video is gone, it may not make a lot of sense in context to, well, there is no context, uh, the, the two hour rant that I did last time, predictably. Uh, it got pulled down and I only found that out as I'm uploading this I did put a bit of a note in the description but it could be a bit confusing I've actually um, uploaded the video to um, the archive so it'll get searched on the web now so it was only on the sites where it is that people could search but well now it's out there for anyone to find so I suppose We'll see how that one goes, eh? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, let me uh, just show you that it got removed because of uh, terms and policies. Had 617 views, a lot of comments, a lot of those people deleted um, after they posted them so that only I would get to see them. And just before, thank you to the 17th person who gave it the thumbs up because, you know, it was getting to be a neck and neck race between the I think I'm awake to the really awake. So thank you, really awake. It's been a really good, you know, I watched you were out in front to begin with and then the I think I'm awake came in and started doing the usual and you didn't see a lot of their comments I've got them all videoed maybe I might do a little bit of a satire on that a little bit of a comedy and we can all have a bit of a laugh but you know I mean really what comedic value are they worth I mean we can all get them on our own channels if we or we could go to someone else's channel and just say something that they don't like and just watch it all unfold so yes, thank you 17 really awake people out there. And you know what? I only make it for one person, for it to make a difference in one person's life. And that's why it doesn't matter about getting money because, uh, you know, if you go, uh, go to Max Egan's website and uh, or go to his BitChute, click on Library, click on 3Speak, and uh, click on all these other places and see how much money his videos have already earned him. Wow, you add up uh, all those, you know, $45 for that video, 35 and every view, I dare say, is chipping over bitcoins that can be redeemed somewhere in this little, you know, crypto system that they've set up in conjunction with all this other tax evasive stuff it's a system built in cyberspace it's not even real and what I as I said thank you to the 17th person but then thank you to all the other 16 too because without all of you to be awake truly awake not pretending like 16 others are <laughs> but to be really awake. You are so much more a positive force than those who would pretend to be awake. Because think about it, Max Egan had nearly a quarter of a million subscribers on YouTube or apparent subscribers and really the way I videoed his last channel before that got yanked ticking over at a very predictable rate when there wasn't even any videos on there you know, it was like it was on a counter. And it was almost like you could see once it got to a certain point, they'd pull his other channel. Well, I think I threw a little bit of a spanner into the works with this video. <laughs> yeah. Max Egan did respond to me. He did uh, confirm. And... Uh, that's why I'm being very careful about what I say because this is uh, going out publicly. You know, um, 
It's not my first time at the rodeo with uh, game players, and I don't play to lose. That's not uh, not what I want to experience. I want to experience control over my reality, and I don't want to have others think that just because they can bully and bluff other people into believing their bullshit, that I can't have my opinion and say what I want to say and expose their bullshit. Because, um, yes, I've, uh, it's good to do the Jane Roberts in between because that uh, helps to bring a little bit more balance back to me. But uh, I am far from finished on Max Egan's character and his backstory. His involvement within alternative communities in northern New South Wales this is a real thing. Everywhere I'm going, I do a search on YouTube, I have the Nightcap Community ad come up. I do a search on Google, I have the Nightcap ad community come up. It is getting flogged everywhere. Now, I reckon at least one person out there that's in Australia is going to hear what I've got to say and will make a different decision and be grateful that they didn't make that choice. So bring on all the, the Max fans, bring on all your typical let's make a comment and delete it so that we think we're having a go. You know, really, seriously, kiddies, it's time to take the game out of the sandpit and let the grown-ups take over. You cannot bluff us, you cannot bully us, and you cannot scare us into shutting up. I've spent over half a century going through shit to be in this position where I am walking the talk that only Max can say he does. So you want to think that you can come at me? Pfft. Waste your time. If, if you've really got nothing better to do in your life. But anyway, as I said, um, I was only going to make this a short one because I just wanted to let people know that um, the video... Oh, hang on, I'll just bring up. So yeah, here we have, um, I uploaded the archive, if you wanted to listen to the other video that uh, YouTube pulled down, it is up in other places, but uh, there's some strange censor censorship going on in Australia right now, like I've got a BitChute account, but uh, I can't search my account for my account name for any of the videos. The only way you get to my BitChute account in Australia is by direct link. There is, however, people that have been watching my videos and uh, even subscribing to me. So I can only assume that censorship outside of Australia is um, allowing Australian issues to be heard and they're not so worried about that because it's not your own local issues. So, um, yes, it's very interesting that at least outside of Australia, um, people still have free access to searching it on BitChute. Well, I'm assuming, I don't know. From what I've been hearing from someone in um, the UK, and you know who you are, <laughs> um, she's been very heavily censored. She's unable to even comment where other people's can comment on videos she can't and whether it's specifically her that's actually encountering more of it which I suspect may be the case but nevertheless the whole of the UK would likewise be under some uh, censorship restriction you would probably see more of other countries content than you would in of in your own country because they do not want you to know what's going on in your own backyard. And that's where it's important that we do become a global community and speak to each other across you know, the internet 
and inform each other what's going on in our own countries so that we're not relying on the news feeds and we're not even relying on alternative media or Facebook. Seriously. I was just watching as so many people predictably got arrested in Australia for their Facebook posts. And it wasn't because I've got a crystal ball, it's because it's common sense. If you know that a particular action is going to have a particular result, well then you find a way to have a different action. Clearly it's not going to work. Facebook does not work. I mean seriously, do you think that most of the cops are out there patrolling the streets? No, they're sitting on Facebook monitoring people's postings. That's probably a big part of their job now. Other than when they dress up in black and go out and, you know, pretend that people are justified as, let's, let's get into them with the riot gear. Or in Melbourne's case, the, the smart city corporation black riot gear and the black vans and black vehicles and black cars. Yes, I noticed that very much so. I know what cop cars look like in Australia, in every state and territory in Australia. Red ones, white ones, blue ones. But these black ones, they've just been rolling in. And even the black uniforms. I mean, seriously. When I was all dressed in black, when I was riding a bike, I was more suited for a bikey gang. And that's what they look like. A bloody gang. And essentially, they are a gang of thugs. They have no legal standing and are organised crime. And no more or less organised crime than the crime that is organised going on in communities that are ripping off ordinary day citizens and people in Australia. There are people milking the system. You know, you pick on the doll bludgers, but it's not necessarily them. It's these people that have got so much money at their fingertips and still they milk the system that they don't even pay into. They're ripping off every single Australian. And if you look at some of them, They've got a big fat beer gut to go with that alcoholic honker nose that sits next to his alcoholic skinny anorexic one with the honker nose. A bit like my Uncle Eddie. My Uncle Eddie, uh, uh, the alcoholic, he was the skinny one. And Ann, the alcoholic, was the fat one. You know, there's all these different traits, I suppose, depending on all the different individual people out there and how much I suppose they eat when they drink too. That's very telling. So um, anyway, this is probably a really long video, more than I wanted to make it right now. I just wanted to show you that um, I'll leave a link for the other video for people that might have found their way to this one wondered what I'm talking about and uh, well my two hour rant pretty well gets it started and these other ones down here <laughs> I haven't figured it out see this is what happens when you don't name people you can leave information there and nobody even knows it's there for others to listen to unfortunately it doesn't get through to the right people too but um, these ones here are about uh, the alternative community, the mind control, the MK Ultra, alternative lifestyles, Nimbin alternative lifestyles, drug versus nature, and what kind of a, a man men picks on an age pensioner. So these are all sort of uh, backstory too. In these ones, I don't actually name Max Egan though. I wasn't. Um, I hadn't gone as far into investigations and found out as much as what I had and 
once I'd got to a certain level of understanding and confirmed certain things, it's like, you know what? I've got to grow a set of balls myself and get the information out there, well, you know, consequences or not. And considering, you know, that seriously, only 16 people could give me the thumbs down. And really, the comments, I mean, I suppose I'm expecting too much to get an intelligent rebuttal out of a um, Max Eigen fan. But then again, Eigen, Egan, sorry. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that and uh, leave the link in the description so that you can watch the other one if you didn't already watch it. Okay, <laughs> catch you next time. Bye.